So I was about four years old, playing shoots and ladders, normal Saturday nights, hanging out with the family. And I just kind of blanked out. I guess it lasted about 20 seconds, and I snapped back in. At one point I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Then God was kind of always there just saying, you know, there's like this voice inside of me. You're gonna make it, you're fine. Just fight through it. Turns out I have epilepsy, absent seizures where you just blank out. We um, didn't know a lot about epilepsy at the time. All we knew was we were watching our, our four-year-old son go into an MRI, um, scared and confused and not sure what the future held. We approached Pastor Jim and asked for some help as far as how to pray. What we found through Travis's growth of epilepsy is another community in the Epilepsy Foundation that needs support and needs faith and relies on faith. And I met some pretty amazing people there, kids that have to take 15 meds in the morning to just try to control. We found our passion in carrying on the work of Jesus Christ, not only through church, but helping others with a common thread that we have, which is epilepsy. And I say we because uh, three years ago, I had a grand mal seizure. I was downstairs sleeping in the basement, and you hear the thudding of the feet just running up and down all over, the dogs barking, people screaming and crying, and I run upstairs and I see the EMTs guarding the door, telling me not to come in, go back downstairs. Then I saw him bring him down on the stretcher. His eyes are just kind of like groggy, foggy. And when my mom said he had a grand mal, it was, it was hard to explain. It was just like, it was that moment where you just, your heart just sinks. I recall, um being put into the ambulance and my wife Heather saying, you know, we're going to get through this. We have trust in God, we have faith, we have our church, we have each other, and we have our friends. And the rallying around our um, cause was overwhelming. When I was in the hospital and I was sleeping and I woke up and there was Pastor Chris's smiling face and her first words are, let's pray. It meant the world to see that there was someone um, that cared more importantly was helping bring the Word of God into our, our time of weakness. You realize real quickly how dependent we are on other people, but that's not a bad thing. I think through all of this, the thing we've learned is it's okay to ask for help. Um, it's okay to ask God for help. And um, people just want you to ask because there are a lot of wonderful people, including everyone here at Easter, that will step up if you ask. God will direct you to those people. There's a verse in, in James that we, we all rely on and that says that your faith being tested is a way to grow endurance in faith. And I think that we have proven that that is true. Every time we come to that next crossroads where it feels like it could be a negative situation, we rely on God to help us understand what the positive side of it is and how we grow. It's been a blessing for me and to help many others through this and share my story and just it gives me a chance to grow in faith.